everyone. I'm Lynn with Psychic Focus at psychicfocus.blogspot.com. If you haven't had a chance to check out my blog, please feel free to do so. And if you'd like to have a personal reading or a distance Reiki session, you can get information on my blog as well. Also, please like my videos, share my work. It really helps me out. And now I'll get right to it here. The topic today is called Missing Film Group at Linus TV. So the question that was sent to me was, Hi Lynn, I was wondering if you could do a focus on a missing U.S. film group in 2002 called Atlantis TV. They went to Antarctica to try to find the lost city of Atlantis or ancient ruins. They went missing, but some, some of their footage was found by, I think, Navy SEALs. The Navy SEALs were in shock when they saw the footage and said it contained footage of massive ancient ruins. The tape was going to be released to the public, but was squashed at the last moment. So what really happened here? And... When I focused on this, I saw them walking deep into the Antarctic continent. And then I had the strangest thing come over me. It was almost as if I was in some kind of Jumanji set. And if any of you have seen it, you know, they go to all these different times and have all these different experiences and th see things that we do not see typically in our current everyday now. And I felt like that's where I was. I was being taken to something that just had that foreign type of a feel to it. This TV crew, they're walking and documenting. And out of nowhere, animals they have never seen before started to emerge. I noticed many flying birds off into the distance. I wouldn't call it a Jurassic Park. It was seriously like a Jumanji set. The group was in awe. They were also confused. And I get that. I saw something that looked a lot like a cross between an ostrich and a pterodactyl. And when you are not familiar with what you're seeing and you're just taking all this in, it was as if they had this emotion of they didn't know whether to be scared, they didn't know whether to be excited, they didn't know whether to be happy, or maybe they had a hybrid of all these different emotions. It just, it felt really confusing, but also in awe as you're looking at something that you've never experienced before. And I got that was very consuming, taking all these emotions in. The land, it looked beautiful. I actually see some areas that appear to be lush, not like a jungle, but they there was some greenery, which is not something you would typically attribute to being in the Antarctic area. But again, they actually made it deep within the continent here. And I also saw that there was wildlife there that isn't accustomed to having humans interacting. So it did feel a little hostile and very intimidating also. I get that the TV crew started to feel threatened by the habitat. They wanted to document what they could. I mean, imagine seeing something you had never seen. So yes, they want to take all the footage that they can. And at one point they were startled and attempted to run on foot. And in the process equipment was left behind. I see that eventually they were captured by a herd of land-dwelling beasts, and it reminded me of a woolly mammoth is what it looked like as they were being chased. Ultimately, the group perished as a result of this chase. So what I really want to know is what is on these tapes? Why are they having such a hard time getting them and releasing them? And I get that the deeper that they went into the continent, the more interesting it got. They were able to document cities that were engulfed in ice, there was at least one pyramid that is reminiscent of Egypt within the ice. And as you go deeper, it becomes very strange and very unexpected. It shifts from total ice to in some areas have what look like grass, which you would not think would be possible. I get that the military got the tapes and they're not going to release them. They don't want people to really know what's on this continent. And it would challenge history and also geography. Anything that opposes the current programming. You know, we have a globe. It looks like this. We have maps. It looks like this. We are told what all these things look like. And they don't want that to be changed questions. Just, you know, so they're going to dismiss all of this. Very interesting reading. I'm curious if you've ever heard theories like this. What your thoughts are. Please leave a comment. I thought this was really unusual and really cool. So I thank you for submitting this, whoever sent this to me. So I will leave you with this. Again, I'm Lynn with Psychic Focus at psychicfocus.blogspot.com. Thank you. Bye.